choose this as our goal. And they may well ask, why climb the highest mountain? Why 35 years ago, by the Atlantic? We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. We have examined where we are strong and where we are not. Where we may succeed and where we may not. Now it is time to take longer strides. Time for a great new American enterprise. Time for this nation to take a clearly leading role in space achievement, which in many ways may hold the key to our future on Earth. Three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Come now, step off the land now. That's one small step for man. For while we cannot guarantee that we shall one day be first, we can guarantee that any failure to make this effort will make us lost. Space is open to us now, and our eagerness to share its meaning is not governed by the efforts of others. But in a very real sense, it will not be one man going to the moon. We make this judgment affirmatively, it will be an entire nation. For all of us must work to put it. I believe we possess all the resources and talents necessary. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the world. No single space project in this period would be more impressive to mankind or more important for the long-range exploration of space. None will be so difficult or expensive to accomplish.